Palestine must no longer be an open-air prison. These steps taken by Israel are unacceptable to us and we condemn this. Water, a basic human right, and fuel, a commodity most of us take for granted. But for Palestinians, these are scarce items on a long list of necessities, which is why this ship is setting sail for Gaza next weekend. Today, these seats are empty, but next week they'll be full with international activists transporting hundreds of tons of aid to Gaza. This is just one of six ships planning to make the perilous journey. Regardless of the risks, these international activists told me they are determined to break the Israeli blockade imposed since 2004. And this is why. If 100 Arab people die, maybe it's a little news, but if an international die, that is a really big news in, in Europe and in America. So I think that it's, a, it's very important our staying here. Part of a convoy of ships, Press TV spoke to the Turkish charity involved in the aid mission. Osman Atalay explains it's not politically motivated, but rather aims to help Palestinians live under the siege. This ship has one target, and that's humanitarian help. It's for justice and rights. It's for the Palestinian people who need help. It's an ambitious mission, two and a half thousand tons of cement, 600 tons of iron, Glass and paint will be transported to rebuild over 5,000 homes and repair 20,000 that were destroyed and damaged in the Gaza war. Medical and school supplies will also be on the inventory. Preparations are underway. Life jackets and lifeboats have been checked in case problems occur. And there are signs of this already. Last week, this man, Izit Shaheen, an IHH aid worker, pictured here doing charity work in Africa and who is currently studying at Tel Aviv University, was arrested by the Israeli intelligence services and is now in detention, charged with threatening Israel's interior security. Osman says this could be a warning against the mission. It could be a message because he was officially employed by us and they know this. The authorities know him and that he's studying there. They've never questioned him before the ship came up. The foreign ministry has called for his immediate release. Press TV's request for an interview was turned down because, quote, it's a sensitive issue. Turkey has openly and repeatedly condemned Israeli policies. This past week, the Prime Minister called for the siege to be lifted. Palestine must no longer be an open-air prison. These steps taken by Israel are unacceptable to us, and we condemn this. European parliamentarians are among those expected on board the Mavi Marmara, which will depart Istanbul May 23rd and be joined by the other ships en route. All travelling will be hoping they make it to Gaza and not end their mission behind Israeli bars.